It seems that President Mwai Kibaki has finally had his way with the naming of Professor Gedo Muigai as Amos Wako's successor at the helm of the state law office. With over 20 years of legal practice, Professor Muigai will, if approved by parliament, be the new chief legal advisor for the government. Born in 1960, Professor Gidho Mugai is currently an associate professor at the University of Nairobi, an international human rights lawyer and a constitutional lawyer. He holds a degree in law from the University of Nairobi, a master's in law from the Columbia University and a doctorate from the University of Nairobi. As Kenya's next Attorney General, Professor Muigai will be tasked with steering the ship of constitution implementation. He will also advise the government on matters involving the ongoing ICC process at The Hague. He'll also be involved in drafting of bills, subsidiary legislation and notices of appointments to state corporations, constitutional offices and public offices. As the first Attorney General under the new constitution, he will, however, not head the state prosecutorial function, which has since been hived off and assumed by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. And in a bid to beat the August 27th deadline and to forestall possible paralysis of the government's financial operations, the President, in consultation with the Prime Minister, has also nominated Agnes Odhiambo, the current Chief Executive of the CDF Board, as the Controller of Budget, and Edward Oko, the current Auditor General at the Africa Development Bank, as the Auditor General. The two who were selected by a panel after going through interviews will now be subjected to parliament vetting. Odhiambo, the controller of budget, will now be vetted by the Parliamentary Budget Committee, while Oko, the Auditor General, will be vetted by the Finance, Planning and Trade Committee. Speaker Kenneth Marende has directed the two committees to file reports on the two nominees and forward them for discussion in Parliament by latest Wednesday. The controller of budget holds the key to the consolidated fund, which is the government's main funds basket, where all money raised or received by or on behalf of the national government is paid into and it also funds the government's most important projects. The constitution states that the Auditor General shall be in office for an eight-year non-renewable term while the Attorney General does not enjoy security of tenure under the new dispensation. Meanwhile, the Cabinet has approved the last two bills that were required to have been passed before the August 27th deadline elapses. The Contingency Fund Bill and the Emergencies Bill that will set up the Contingency Fund and the Emergency Fund in accordance with Article 208 of the new Supreme Laws. However, the Constitution Implementation Commission has protested, saying that it was not consulted before the two bills were approved and warns that it could seek legal redress. The Contingency Funds Bill provides that the national government seeks the approval of parliament before spending any money from the Contingency Fund. Sheila Sendeo, Citizen Live at 9.